That series of works, Mediums, has a long backstory. While I was working in the library at the San Francisco Art Institute, pretty much every year we had to go through the collection of books and figure out what books we could take out to make room for the new books. Then I would look through, I'll look through those books after they got pulled, and most of them were exhibition catalogs. And I would pull out ones that had pictures of the artist in them. And for the most part, a lot of these artists were pretty unknown. And at the time, I was just collecting them. I didn't really know what for. I thought possibly I was going to make something with them, but it was really just a compulsion at the time to kind of keep these people from getting dumped. Um, I held on to them for like 10 years. They're all one-of-a-kind book plates taken directly from the catalog. So it was important that that was a very direct object, that it was taken from the book, that it was the actual thing that was removed, you know, was important to me. And I don't know who these artists are, I really don't. At some point I did. At some point I'd written on the back of all the book plates who they were, but now those book plates are glued to these pieces of wood. Their names are still there, but they're, you know, in between these two layers. You can't find it anymore. So ultimately those sculptures exist in a couple different ways. Like on one hand, they're these objects that are meant to be shown in gallery type context, museum context, whatever. And really I build out this packaging for them. It's never on display, but there's these really elaborate boxes that they go in that come with these books. And the books in a lot of ways that go in the boxes are the most labor intensive part of the work. And the books are made in an edition of three, and one of them ultimately goes back into the, the Art Institute library from where these people were originally uprooted. Um, I'm not that interested in talking about like the, the inhumane nature of the art world specifically, but just more like I'm interested in my position within this system that I can act as a kind of conduit for these people to go back in. And the title Mediums does come from its ability to span both, you know, the idea of a spiritual medium, you know, someone who is channeling someone who's dead, and also the mediums of making things, you know, whether it's the medium of a photograph or the medium of a sculpture or the medium of painting. And I guess, you know, Ultimately, I feel like this is going to sound like some really insane generalization, but I do think that like in some ways all art is about the same thing. We're all humans, we're all expressing ourselves, we're all going to die. Um, I can't imagine that those conditions allow us to talk about such a broad range of things. You know, I think that in, in uh, thousands of years, will look at these things as expressions of humanity. And I guess that work is kind of about mortality. It's about these people being pulled from the system. And in essence, they're, it's the death of those catalogs that were in the library. And I feel like it's a total coup to have them in, back in a system that's gonna like take care of them, you know? It's about like kind of giving these people these anonymous individuals, not even giving them, but like about talking about mortality and talking about preservation and talking about how we deal with that, that problem that we all have. 